Hey there, everybody. Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter. And what we've got this time around is some new This Is Us Season 4, Episode 16, Sneak Peek Analysis and Theories, because there are a couple of clips that have been put out there on YouTube for this upcoming episode, New York, New York, New York. It seems like it, the city's going to be a huge part of this story, both yep. in the past and the present. Yep. And some of the questions we're going to be raising here include... What's going on to cause the feud between Kevin and Randall? Could it be something simple? Could it be something more complicated? And how could things like Rebecca's father or a painting somehow contribute to the overall tone of the story coming up? But before we dive into this, if you do enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to also make sure you don't miss any other updates, hit that notification bell. All right, so let's start with the present because we already know that Rebecca is heading to New York alongside Kevin to go and see a movie premiere, basically. Yeah, and in one of the sneak peeks we see, she's got on this gorgeous purple dress and she's asked Kevin, can I walk the red carpet with you? Which is something that it seems she has never done before. She has never asked him before. Of course he's happy with it. And it may seem at first watching this couple, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, this is going to be kind of insignificant. But I actually think that this is going to come into play in a really big, hard way for Randall. I mean, he feels that he's the person we've seen in the past couple episodes, that he feels that he's the glue that holds the family together mm -hmm. and that he's the one that Rebecca's going to depend on and that all his siblings depend on him and that sort of thing. I think seeing Rebecca then going onto the red carpet with Kevin is going to spark a bit of jealousy because we saw Rebecca tell Kevin that the one thing that he offers more than any of the other kids is that he offers her an opportunity to not think about things. And when you're going through medical issues, having somebody who does that for you, that brings you away from it, you don't think about it, you're not hurting about it, you're just doing something else, and you're in that moment and you're feeling it, is really important. And it feels like maybe some jealousy is going to come out with Randall when he realizes that Kevin is that person for her and it's not him so that that moment that seems ins insignificant going yeah. onto the red carpet I think is actually going to be something that's going to spark a way bigger problem I think it definitely is and I, I think it's going to be multi-layered I think it's going to be I think for starters pretty much everything that you suggested I think there's going to be a lot of jealousy that Kevin is taking on more of this role and I think there's just also such an attention aspect of it and I mean I'll, I'll, I'll I mean it's you know I've done a red carpet before and mm -hmm. it is a it's a weird experience I mean but it is you're getting all of this attention yeah. you're getting to you know the see and hear all these interesting questions that are asked your way I mean I'm sure Rebecca because she's Kevin's mom it's not going to be the thing where like the photographers are yelling at her hey get out of the shot like I'm pretty sure I've been told that at least <laughs> three or four times but yeah, uh no I think I think seeing her on the carpet yeah. and seeing all the smiles, no one's going to tell her to get out of the shot. Sasquatch, get out of the shot. I think that was in, uh, oh, it's Matumbo, get out of something else. It was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's a really great quote. But no, they're not going to do you that to her. I love that movie. I do love that movie. I haven't watched that way too many times on airplanes. So, yeah, I think that it's, he's, Randall's going to see just the big smiles, the attention, and that this is something that only Kevin can offer her because he's not just the person she depends on for that but he is a big star of this big movie and can actually offer this so i do think that that's gonna be a thing it's the simple thing like you said is gonna spark off the bigger things and i think the other question that i'm really wondering with this is you know while the red carpet can be a really fun experience sometimes mm -hmm. you're also you're asked a lot of questions and if rebecca is having some sort of memory issue if she does get asked a question that she can't remember is it going to be embarrassing for her on some level? Is Randall going to lash out at Kevin being like, you put her in a really terrible position and you knew what was going on. Why would you embarrass her like this? I, I mean, there are chances, I at least feel like, for conflict that could come from this. 
I think it's possible. I mean, it feels like it's still so early yeah. on and what's going on with Rebecca that she wouldn't find herself in that much of a confused state just yet. Yeah, but probably not. But it's possible not. that may... Like, this show is very good at being true to life. And I'm sure if they're bringing in this storyline, they've done their research and that it's not... It, it's not a disease that takes over all the time that quickly. Like my mm. grandmother has it is taken, it's taken 10 years of her life, but it was, a, it started out just very slow and, and it progressed very slow, but it came to where she doesn't remember anybody. It's still such early stages that I'm thinking that it, it may not happen, but he still, Randall may still be mad that she was put in any kind of position where anything like that could have happened. Sort of a projection of how could you put our mom in this type of situation. The other sneak peek in this ep for this episode is a little bit different because we're going back to the past. So it's not just we're going to see people in the present in New York, but apparently the Pearsons, they're heading there yep. way back when, and everyone gets a chance to sort of say what they would like to do if they can only do one thing in New York. And I gotta say, if I was a kid like uh, Kevin's age, forget the toy store. I mean, I wouldn't even be like Rando who wants to go to the museum. Bring me the pizza. I mean, come on. How do you not say you wanna go and eat the pizza if you're going to New York? Oh, I would have been right there with Kevin. I wouldn't want to go to like FAO Schwartz, some great big, huge, amazing toy store. And if you've been to New York and you've been to a toy store like that and they have that big robot like <laughs> elevator and stuff, I don't even know if FAO Schwartz is around anymore, but it's like, it's so iconic. They have the, the big uh, piano that you can dance all over. Like that's where I would want to go if I was his age. Yeah, I, I would get that too. I think they did have an FAO Schwartz in Dallas too growing up. Wasn't oh, as cool as wasn't as cool as the New York one though. It was like FAO Schwartz light. They may all be gone yeah. now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they all have their own suggestions as to kind of the stuff that they want to do. And I mean, most of this is probably inconsequential. I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time with adult Kevin roaming around what a store that may not even <laughs> exist anymore. But I think we are probably going to see maybe a glimpse of what Rebecca wanted to do come back because she talks about wanting to go to the Museum of Art and see mm -hmm. a painting that is there. Could that painting still be there in the present? Yeah, I mean, it depends on exactly what that painting is and, you know, because some museums will have certain paintings that will stay for a long time. Sometimes they have traveling, you know, ones that will go to different museums and stuff like that. Um, different art galleries so I feel that that painting is also going to come into play again that because this trip is really a moment between Kevin and Rebecca he's bringing her to the premiere she's walking the red carpet I think she's gonna want to go and see that and if Randall and Kevin are getting really you know tss, tss, that we're gonna have a situation where Kevin will be like well I'll take you but it may also be a situation where Rebecca ends up asking Kevin over Randall mm -hmm. to go there because she already feels like, hey, I'm here with him. We're doing all this stuff together. Would you take me? And we did see in this other, other clip that it was both Randall and Rebecca that both wanted to go to museums. So yeah. again, could be a small thing that turns into a bigger problem. And I think there's really nothing that anyone hates more than being excluded from yeah. things and if Randall is used to being included in everything now all of a sudden he becomes the person of you know I don't know if you can handle all this Randall now we're we're leaning on Kevin now we're doing stuff with Kevin and you know Randall I mean I think at his core Randall's obviously a good person but I think Randall is someone who's used to carrying so much on his back that I don't think he has I don't know if it's ego I don't know if it's a sense of like aggro responsibility but regardless of what it is it is taken over his brain and it is sort of wiring him to where he doesn't want to hear anything that doesn't involve him. And if he hears more about this or, you know, Kevin is the one who remembers this painting before he does, then that becomes a problem and then it becomes a much bigger problem than it really should be. Yeah, I think Randall's just going to have a very hard time with this idea that he's not sort of the... 
the person that's the responsible one because even as a kid he was always very responsible and then Jack died and then he feels like he kind of stepped into that role being the responsible one I think he's just gonna have he's gonna have a tough time seeing Kevin step up as the responsible one because it's gonna leave him feeling a little displaced that it can't be they can both be responsible mm -hmm. and having two people stepping up being responsible and giving to rebecca while this is happening is better than one it's just hard i mean that jealousy can come in it can like i said make you feel displaced you don't know where you fit in anymore what your role is anymore in the family i mean there's there's a lot of material that's gonna be coming up for randall yeah and i think it's i think a lot of it has to come to a head in this episode because if it doesn't you're really waiting until the very end of the season at that point, and then I don't know if you can even do this justice anymore. Yeah. Well, let's hear from you guys. What do you think is going to be coming up on This Is Us Season 4, Episode 16? What do you think will be the final straw that causes this feud to just spiral? Let us know in the comments, and if you do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and if you also want to support us further, check out the store. There's a link in the description below, and we'll see you here next time.